morning students today i shall introduce you the chapter our environment students you have been studying about this term environment since your childhood days right so what is environment yes it is your surroundings everything that is around you is what is environment so mana chuttu undedanta environment now what is this environment made up of it is made up of living and non living things so living things are called as biological factors non living things are called as physical factors these factors they have other names too biological factors are biotic factors physical factors are abiotic factors so our environment is made up of biotic factors as well as abiotic factors got it now what are the biotic factors all the living organisms constitute biotic factors what are they plants animals microbes and what are abiotic factors all inanimate matter that is air water sunlight land temperature they constitute abiotic factors now students do you think these factors are independent no actually they are dependent there is always constant interaction going on between these factors which makes the environment stable got it so ee rendu interact avutu untayi aa interaction vallane environment anedi stable ga untundi see here students if you see if you take plants what they do plants take air water and sunlight and they make food that food is transferred to animals when both plants and animals die what happens the microbes they break these dead bodies and release the nutrients again back into the environment so this way the materials are exchanged between biological factors and physical factors continuously like a cycle and this cycles they make the environment stable what it so if there is any uh, imbalance or if there is any disturbance in any of the component of these factors that will lead to the imbalance in environment for instance if plants are cut that is like deforestation if plant if forests are cleared what happens the carbon dioxide concentration in the air increases that will lead to increase in temperature and this increasing temperature changes the land forms also affects the animal life and finally the balance in the environment is lost got it so environment to stay stable this interaction has to go on got it now our environment is a well organized structural entity in this structure individual forms the basis several individuals of same species they make up population several populations of different species they make up community see here fish population is there crabs are there grass jellyfish they make up community this community with its interaction with the abiotic component that forms ecosystem so individuals so what interaction with the abiotic component to collect the ecosystem out now several ecosystems living in one particular area make up biome so రకరకాల ఎకోసిస్టమ్స్ అక్వాటిక్ ఎకోసిస్టమ్ టెరిస్ట్రియల్ ఎకోసిస్టమ్ ఫారెస్ట్ ఎకోసిస్టమ్ ఇవన్నీ ఒకే వెదర్లో ఒకే క్లై క్లైమాటిక్ కండిషన్స్లో ఉన్నప్పుడు అది బయోమ్ అవుతుంది సెవరల్ బయోమ్స్ దే మేకప్ బయోస్పియర్ దిస్ బయోస్పియర్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ అర్త్ నౌ ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ ద ఇండివిజువల్ దెన్ దిస్ ఈస్ యువర్ ఎన్వైర్మెంట్ సో యు ఆర్ ది బేసిక్ యూనిట్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్వైర్మెంట్ బట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ద లెవెల్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్వైర్మెంట్ it is ecosystem that is very important because it is here we find living and non living organisms before ecosystem there is no non living component so these are not self sustaining it is from here there is self sustaining systems got it students so let us see what is ecosystem with little bit details so what is ecosystem it is the community with its abiotic component in other words it is the place where both living and non living organisms coexist and exchange their materials so ecosystem ante living and non living organisms oka chota untu materials ni exchange chestuntu unte aa system name antarante ecosystem antaru now in 8th class you have studied about types of ecosystems there are two main types right artificial and natural so artificial are man made natural are naturally existing ecosystems 
So natural ecosystems are again of different types based on the climatic conditions like uh, amount of rainfall, availability of light, temperature. Based on these factors, there are different types of ecosystems, forest ecosystems, grassland ecosystems, aquatic ecosystems and desert ecosystems. Of these, forest, grassland and desert, they come under terrestrial ecosystem, aquatic is under aquatic. In artificial also, there are two types of ecosystems, terrestrial and aquatic. Terrestrial or land, land ecosystems, aquatic water ecosystems. So man-made terrestrial are what? Gardens, parks, even in man, tire chest not to be. So they are terrestrial ecosystems. Aquatic means aquariums. So the aquarium that we keep in our home, that is also one ecosystem. That is artificial aquatic ecosystem. Got it students? So this is the types of ecosystems. Now, there are two important terms in this chapter you need to understand. So they are habitat and niche. What is habitat? Habitat is the place when an organism lives and get its food, shelter, etc. for its survival. So simply, the place where an organism lives is habitat. For instance, uh, what are the different habitats? Lake, trees, forests, then what else? Grasslands. So these are all habitats where the living organisms are surviving. So that is about habitat. Now, niche. What is niche? The functional role of an organism in an ecosystem. So, this includes how an organism interacts with the other organisms, fellow organisms, uh, the process of obtaining food and shelter, and uh, the act of avoiding danger. All these things include under the functional role of an organism. That is niche. Got it? Now, if you take bacteria in any ecosystem, its role is to decompose the dead bodies and recycle the nutrients. Right? So, the niche of the bacteria is decomposer. Its role is decomposer. But it's students, I hope you understood. Habitat ante, a place lo untundo, a place a habitat. Niche ante, dani role ante. Uh, ecosystem lo dani role ante. Whether it is a producer, consumer, secondary consumer, tertiary, what is its role? That is niche. Got it? So these are the few basic concepts of environment. Now, the main focus of this chapter is Food chains, food webs, food pyramids, story of Kulleru Lake, heavy metal accumulation in the fish of Udilabad water reservoir and Chinese sparrow campaign. Got it? So, in our next videos, we are going to see these concepts one after the other. Got it students? Thank you.